Snowmobiling is about having fun, but sometimes there's work to do. And to get that work done, you need a utility sled. Let's ride. We snowmobilers have heard many times about the work that goes into our trails, but it is only when you see it firsthand that you get a true appreciation for the work that is involved along with the challenges. The rocky terrain up here requires a lot of snow and a lot of cold. There are rocks to be covered and swamps that need to freeze before any trail work can begin. Once that work begins, you can witness firsthand the stages in the trail preparation process. As we worked our way through the day, I was able to witness the many challenges that the Gravenhurst Snowcrest riders face. With a Scandic and a bunch of bush tools, I was able to join in with the club to help get the trails ready for the thousands of Ontario snowmobilers to enjoy. I can get some mud on that slide if you'd like. Hi, Muddy Phil. We're here on behalf of the Snowcrest Riders, uh, trying to break some trail open, brush the trail and pack it down. It's been a tough year for these guys. There hasn't been a lot of snow and or frost to get in the ground. There is a ton of work, especially this year. This has been the toughest year for the clubs and I'm sure every one of the clubs will tell you the same thing. Lack of snow, lack of frost is a killer for these guys. And they're out there every day, busting their humps to get this trails open for us to ride. So the volunteers are what make this sport go. We see some really rough trails, but we actually saw some pretty good trails today. We did, yeah. And again, that, you see the difference. If the, if the groomer can get down, pack it down one time with the, with the drag, it makes a huge difference and it's a good cold snap is what we really need. It officially is my first ride of the season mid-January, believe it or not, and yeah, of course, we always have fun. It's always great to have come up with the guys that, uh, that make these trails happen. A lot of work, a lot of packing, brushing, getting all the trees out of the way, it's, it's just endless. Branches are a nuisance for you in the cab? Yeah, you gotta watch those windows because they're expensive. Like, right now, if I had to guess the uh, like the date by the progress of the trails, I'd say it was mid-December. So there's, there's a lot of work to do yet. Yes, we have all heard it before, the hours of work that are required, but if each of us popped in for one day, it would speed up the process, eliminate volunteer burnout, and best of all, it will rekindle that social fabric that has been a key part of snowmobiling since its earliest days. This winter, when you were out riding, I hope you took a moment to appreciate the hours of volunteer work that went into getting those trails ready for you to ride. Next fall, don't hesitate to volunteer. It will be a very positive experience for you because it was certainly a great experience for me.